as the number one Tigers battle for their undefeated season. They meet a number one fan with a battle of his own. A battle that puts things in perspective, that there are far more important things in life than basketball. Boxer team's Lauren Lee has this fan story. Lauren? Steve Merle, the Memphis Tigers have that competitive edge that gets wins, but they've showed their softer side when players and coaches took a timeout to meet a very special fan. Tiger practice. Not just anyone is let inside. You've got to be a VIP, someone pretty special, someone like Turner Lee. Turner's, uh, he's the ultimate, the ultimate fan. Uh, of course, uh, I think is he didn't know any better, so he, he can't get mad at them when they miss a shot or, you know, you know, don't play defense. He's always rooting for him and always happy and just watching him on TV. He's excited the whole time. Hey, what up, Turner? <laughs> hey. Turner not only went to practice, he joined in. He's only one and a half, but just like one of the big boys, Turner was out on the court shooting around. And he's had plenty of practice. Turner's mom, Sarah, and dad, Keith, say he's playing basketball every moment. <laughs> Every moment he's not being treated at St. Jude. Two days after Christmas, Turner was diagnosed with stage 4 neuroblastoma, a form of cancer. After two rounds of chemotherapy, Turner had surgery to remove a large tumor in his belly. The chemo is also shrinking a tumor behind his eye. A constant stream of vitamins and nutrients helped Turner keep his weight up. Recently, the doctors have had more good news than bad. His bone marrow is now free of cancer, so... You know, we're just looking forward and anticipating more good news. And, you know, God has really heard our prayers and answered our prayers. So we're very thankful. Turner doesn't know he's sick. His parents say he's a typical toddler, stubborn but sweet, outgoing and energetic. And he loves basketball. As soon as Coach Cal heard about the Tigers' littlest, biggest fan, he invited Turner to meet the team. <laughs> He is like a ball of fire, and they said he loves basketball and loves the Tigers, and uh, we wanted him here with us today. And just hours before a big game, the team took time out to show Turner a thing or two on the court, and Turner, who hasn't yet learned to talk, showed them his Tiger growl. Coach Cal and the players signed a basketball for Turner to take home with him. You have a heavy heart for their family right now. I mean, I have young children, um, and, 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 and I can see they're a young couple, um, and I can't even imagine, you know, um, w how they're going through this and what they're doing. I just want to say, hey, we're here to help. Sarah and Keith say it helps just to see Turner out on the court. Yeah, nice. That was great. Being a kid. He's just done a phenomenal job considering you know, everything they've done to him and, you know, how long we've been in the hospital, our different stays there, you know, the length of time. And he just felt so bad before. It's great to see him, you know, running around and playing and acting like himself again. And on this day, Turner is a VIP. On this day, he's not a kid with cancer. He's just a fan. I would tell everybody out there, let's pray for Turner Lee. <laughs> Right now, Turner is in the intensive care unit at St. Jude, recovering from an operation Friday. It was to remove the tumor from his belly, and doctors are calling it a success. Doctors have made the decision not to operate on the tumor in Turner's skull behind his eye, and instead will use radiation to shrink it. If you'd like to follow Turner's story, log on to myfoxmemphis.com. There you can find a link to Turner's website. In the studio, Lauren Lee, Fox 13 News.